Okay, so it's the 21st of June, this should be Avril Lavigne's Greatest Hits. Um, and as ever, HMV have put uh, this tape over the pull tabs. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to gently put a knife just across that, so hopefully... I'm just going to have to... You can't see, I just realised I'm going to have to peel it up this way. I'm hoping it's all right because um, on the other side of this, there's some dings and that on the cardboard, and especially look there. That is where basically Royal Mail have held it like this at the corner and used it as a tray to carry other parcels. Which I hate the fact that they do that because it means half the time. A lot of the time, the record gets damaged where otherwise it wouldn't need to, but, yeah. I also find the HMV ones, I've noticed the packaging they've started using in more recent time, it's a lot thinner than it used to be, more packed, but looks on the, s oh no. Nope. There's damage to the corner. And let me guess, that was the corner it was held by, I might have to con... Ah, God. And there's another one there. Uh, this happened with my Justin Timberlake literally the other day. I did get a 10% refund on that, but God, I'm... The fact that this ha has happened twice in a row, I might stop using HMV. Actually, one of the reasons I continued is because they were better. Hmm. I don't know whether to open this or not, see if I can straighten it out a bit. I'll open it up and see if I can straighten it out some. And that, if not then it's going back. Or getting a partial refund. At least it's in the corner. At least it's in the corner, but I'm not happy. Let's see, now that I can open this up and get my hand in there. Mm, not really, it's really... It's just irritating that. I'll see what HMV say on it. So that's another pending thing to see what they say on this. But yeah, this is Avril Lavigne's Greatest Hits. And interestingly, usually with the Greatest Hits, um, it's usually because an artist generally has come to the end of uh, their current uh, album contract. Uh, most of the time this is renewed, or it's, you know, for an artist that hasn't had anything in a while and the company's just, you know, the record company's just going to profit off that regardless. But yeah, usually what they do though is uh, usually they'll feature one or two, at least one or two new songs to, you know, promote the greatest hits. This one, not the case, which is really weird. Yeah, no new Avril Lavigne songs on here. So basically if you own all of Avril Lavigne's, you know, albums. Basically, there's not re there's less of a point to get this other than to have it in a compilation like this. Now, I don't own all of Avril Lavigne's albums. Um, well, I don't want to. I see that one there. Is that? Damn sure I'd, I can't tell, but yeah. No download code, this is the green vinyl, it's also available as a black vinyl as well. I'm glad these are plastic lined sleeves, uh, so it means there's less damage. It's gonna, the, can't speak at the moment, but uh, yeah, they are plastic lined sleeves. I'm not gonna put my anti scatic sleeves in just in case this does have to go back. It, We'll see, we'll see what, what happens when HMV in touch. Oh, problem with these plastic sleeves is, is that they do build up static. You can see the record is just stuck to it. So yeah, they do need anti-static sleeves in there. So yeah, not a gatefold, which is disappointing. And that, um, no cassette release either, which is interesting. Yeah, this one is only available on vinyl and CD. I should mention that it's also available on CD as well. But um, 
yeah, this is obviously a good jumping on point for a lot of people and that. Uh, for me particularly, you know, to pick up some of the tracks from... Because I have listened to all of Avril Lavigne's albums and I've generally only picked up the albums where I've liked more than just a couple of the songs on there, basically. It has to be more than just, like, a couple of singles on there. And, yeah, this is good for, you know, finally getting them. Obviously, we've got Complicated Skater Boy and that's um though i've just noticed on the track list this is also interesting in that it's another greatest hits where the order is just completely random like completely random order yeah because again a lot of the time i'm not i'm noticing this more and more but traditionally a lot of the time with the greatest hits they'll they'll generally go in a direction of either oldest to newest or in some cases newest to oldest but um, oh, in a couple of cases, they'll go most popular to least popular in a lot of cases, in some cases. Uh, but this one, again, is another one where it's just in a completely random order, which is a bit odd. I don't know. I know that's just a nitpick, but I do quite like it, you know, going in some sort of order. But this one is just completely random. Because we go from Skater Boy, then Girlfriend, then What the Hell, then Complicated. Yeah, interesting. But uh, yeah, there we go, people, there we go.